here we go, I guess. Um, so, oh gosh, Dakota, I knew my dog would in some way just, he, he was gonna bombard the video whether I liked it or not. Hey everyone, this is Megan Mitchell. I'm a weekend anchor and reporter at Channel 5, WLWT. Um, I'm not a chef, and that is the disclaimer here because I know two recipes really well. I know actually quite a few recipes, but these are the two that I kind of made up as I was going along and as the months went by and I've like perfected them. They're amazing. They are healthy. Um, well, I'm only doing one today. It is healthy. There are two main things that you will need. Gochujang, which is a Korean spicy fermented uh, chili paste, and then also oyster sauce, which is a really, really umami Chinese flavor, and it's amazing. Get over there, Dakota. So, um, yeah, and besides that, if you have any vegetables on hand, any protein on hand, I mean, you'll basically do. I'm using chicken and broccoli today because that's what I had on hand. Um, but I always use it with, like, frozen stir-fry, so if it's a week that you're not going to the grocery store, you can use that. Okay, so first things first, gotta get this chicken in my air fryer. You can cook the chicken any way you want, but this is the way that I cook it because it's easy and it does it by itself. Um, I don't have a, um mallet or whatever they use to um, soften the chicken so I I just put my chicken in this bag and just kind of hit it <clears throat> I'm a journalist not a chef so we are now gonna add some oil to this some salt some pep and then we're gonna get it going because that takes the longest to cook I kid you not this sauce is like packed with punch full of umami flavor um, it's so, so good. I just never want the food to end, and that's what you're gonna get today. So, first, I'm going to take the gochujang and take my little. Okay, it's not hot enough to burn my wood, so that is good. Um, so, I'll take about a tablespoon of it. I kind of guesstimate the, the actual size of how much I'll need, but that's like usually maybe two tablespoons but I really like spicy if you don't like spicy then just use a little bit but but besides being spicy it also adds like a very deep kind of plum flavor and I don't quote me on that I don't know if that's actually true but that is what I taste when I taste it um, and so I'll just kind of put it right here and then I'm gonna add some chili oil now you don't need chili oil but I like it really really spicy so you can use whatever oil you want Besides that, we're gonna wait to put um, the butter in because butter can kind of burn a little bit easier. Now I'm going to add some garlic and I'm probably gonna add about five cloves. I know that sounds like a lot. It is a lot of garlic for one person in one meal. However, however, if you are properly socially distancing, no one will be able to smell your breath. So this is the time to go hard on the garlic, go hard on the green onions, Live your life, do things that are fun. Rock on, man. You don't have to mince the garlic. I find that who cares? Like, you're getting the taste of garlic because it's infusing into the oil, so like you don't really need to mince it. Also, mincing takes so long, so we're trying to keep things simple here. All right. Okay, so I have my garlic out of the um, wrapper. I don't know what it's called. And then I'm just literally roughly chopping it. Like, I don't care if there's big pieces of garlic in there, because guess what? I like garlic, so. Now I'm gonna put some oyster sauce. Okay. Also, like, don't really use a bowl, because why would you do that and waste something that you will have to wash later? Okay, I probably put a tablespoon of that. I'm gonna add a little more because I love oyster sauce. We're going to use some soy sauce, probably another tablespoon. This butter, unsalted, because we can salt later, and that gives us a little bit more just of our own. That was my neighbor. And then probably um, a tablespoon of butter, or you could do oil if you want to keep this super healthy, but Butter makes it taste way better, so. I am sorry to the people who recruited me to do a healthy video. And now I just like put this on literally a simmer because you don't want it to, one, burn the butter, burn the garlic, because those are easily burnable, but you want it kind of like just soak in the flavor, so we'll do 
them. A little tip here, if you want to clean your vegetables, you can actually do it with a little distilled vinegar and water. It actually works really well. All right, so I just put some water into this pan. We're gonna basically steam the broccoli, so I'm gonna put all the broccoli on a medium high and just let the water go to town. I kind of like it a little bit more soft, so just do it for as long as you want, I guess. So now I'm gonna cut the green onions that I have. I have like four of them, but like, you do you. I really like a lot of aromatics because it makes the entire dish taste way better. But the thing is, is it will give you bad breath, so go at your own risk, but like social distance from people. You can really use anything, but I like cilantro and basil a lot with this specific recipe. I'm gonna go wash these and then cut them up. Okay, chicken is done. I'm gonna take it and cut it up and then add it to this stir fry, drain the broccoli, and then just like put all of this stuff together. Actually, before I cut it in half, I'm gonna let it sit to kind of soak in the juices. Make sure that it can rest for a second. Um, but in the meantime, I am going to come on over here and drain the broccoli. Everything is cooked to this point. You basically just wanna Make sure that everything is coated. I'm going to add in the cilantro basil. I'm gonna add in all of these amazing green onions. It's a lot. I know that. Here's the doozy. <laughs> I'm also gonna add Parmesan cheese, which makes no sense to you, I get that. But when I say the butter with the oyster sauce with the gochujang and soy mixed with this Parmesan, it breaks the rules of cooking. It breaks the rules of cuisine, but it works. It's so good. Okay. First of all, amazing. It's amazing. Best food ever. it just like hits you as I mentioned you have time you have distance from people go crazy on this have fun mm. all right and that's it thank you for joining me um, happy taste of Cincinnati everyone I know it's a weird time because of COVID-19 but feel like if we just kind of do what we're supposed to, listen to the health experts, the scientists, we're going to be a-okay and we're going to get through this. All right, enjoy! Take another bite.